everybody, welcome back to Pembridge TV. Uh, it's now 48 hours after the reveal that we're getting a remastered KOTOR. And with the remastered KOTOR comes a few questions, mainly for me, uh, you know, how close are they going to keep it to the original game? Uh, well, they are going to remake it from the ground up. The one thing I would say is potentially going to be changed the most might be combat. There's no denying that, you know, for us who played the original KOTOR, we really enjoy the turn-based uh, combat, the D&D style combat. You know, we, we got used to it, we figured it out. Those who are like me, the first couple of playthroughs, if you remember when you were a kid, you just you made some terrible build and you couldn't get past the Star Forge. And then, of course, as you played the game and got a little bit older and understood the statistics a little bit better, you became a free kid. And, of course, at the end of these games, you can just force storm everything, right? Well, the thing is, is the new crowd of Star Wars fans, because this game's going to be bought by many different people and a lot of people who have not played the original. I'm wondering if we're going to get a brand new style of combat. Now, that's going to upset people who are, you know, uh, I guess the word I'm looking for is fundamentalist, so to speak, of KOTOR. I just don't know if the everyday player, uh, the kid of today, would want to play a game with the combat of that style. Now, I just want to talk about different ways the combat could be, well, changed or altered, or maybe it's even kept the same. So I'm thinking there might be three different ways that we get combat in the KOTOR remake. One, they basically copy paste it with some improvements, um, some different things. But overall, we're keeping the D&D style turn-based uh, combat. I could see this happening. I really could. I think they could clean it up a little bit and make the mechanics a little bit better. Um, I don't see any reason why they have to switch away from it, especially when it's kind of fundamental to how the leveling up works and the perks and feats and such like that. I, I think that this would make people like us you know, the fundamentalists, the people who played the first KOTOR and are hoping that it's as close as possible. I think it would make people like us happy. It would be a bit of a learning curve for people who haven't played the first one and the younger uh, younger kids. But hey, you know, we had to learn it too. This is back when games weren't so easy and sometimes you got, you know, stuck on levels, for example. I don't know if you guys remember those days. So that's a possibility. Two, they just throw that away. And I'm not saying to go like Fallen Order style combat, but you know, something a little bit more smooth and fast paced and uh, flows easily. I could definitely see them doing that as well. I know in my podcast with uh, Ebon Hawk Podcast Now, the Old Republic podcast, we discussed that could be a very real possibility. I'm not a fan of it, but I can see it happening. And I would adjust to I still have the old Coastal games. Um, that's what I'm telling myself if I don't like this remake. I still have the old one. Um, but I could see this being a change that they make. And number three, what they could do is, is they could implement... Uh, I don't know if you guys played, I hope a lot of you have played Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy. Mainly Jedi Academy when you could, you know, I, I'm trying to think of ways they could merge the old force powers and feet and stuff like that and Jedi Academy had like a list of force powers you could really choose to subscribe to I think that that could be a possibility something I'm not saying that exact way I'm just saying it's something that I could see happening not the exact same but something similar maybe some kind of alteration of fallen order merging with something like that I don't know what that would look like I'm just trying to think of how they would merge the force powers and feats and stuff like that um, to a more free-flowing combat style. Now, yes, I'm aware this combat style was made particularly for that reason. Um, it wanted to match the Dark Souls style. Fucking fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Every single 
Time. I'm not saying it's the exact same. I'm not. What I mean is just, it doesn't have to be that exact same combat style. Just something a little bit more free. Think Jedi Academy even. Just think about that. Um, think about Witcher. Think about, you know, Batman. Something. Um, I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm saying it's going to be like parry based or anything like that. But you know what I mean. Anything that's not turn based. You know, I think people who are listening to me have an idea of what I'm talking about. I hope you do. I'm not saying fall in order, just something different. Now, what they could end up doing is what they could end up doing is keeping some elements and then merging it to diff something different. Um, I don't know necessarily how this would work, but you know, if they want to update, I know it kind of it's kind of the same thing as far as updating it, but what I mean is, I, again, you have to be pretty creative to make this work, but something that kind of merges the free-flowing aspect and then, of course, the D&D style combat in there, maybe turn-based, but making it feel like it's a lot smoother. I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, but what I'm saying is just a completely brand new style of combat we have not seen. Um, do I think that's the most likely? No. I think most likely we're going to get an updated D&D &D turn-based combat. Um, there's a possibility that they go away from that. Uh, I hope they don't go away from that. But, you know, we, we just don't, don't really know. So... Yeah, guys, that's just kind of my thoughts as far as where we could go. You know, I, my mind is spinning right now with with different outcomes of how this is going to play out. We really don't know. Uh, all things kind of point to, if you listen to their dev meetings, all things kind of point to, or meetings, interviews, uh, rather. All things kind of point to it being largely the same, just remade. That would be the best, I think, for everybody. Best interest for everybody. Um, but we'll find out, right? So I'm going to be putting out more videos like this, just kind of speculating, thinking out loud. It's really what this is. This isn't very polished by any means. But I just want to give my thoughts and my excitement. I know a lot of people are excited on this, and this kind of stirs conversation. So why not? Uh, thank you, Wendy LeBlanc and McDurgan for being my two patrons. My uh, show is indeed moving along. Uh, episode two is taking a bit longer than anticipated because we have a nice frame by frame combat scene that is taking longer than, you know, we had originally thought. So I'll give up an update when I have something to show you guys right now. Uh, if I were to show you what we have done, it would look very, um, it would look very like glitchy for lack of better terms. You know what I mean? There's a lot of frames that need to be done still. So we are working on that. We are working hard and I will give an update as soon as I have one that is worth bringing up. That being said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. You know, uh, ask me questions. What should I do a video on? What kind of um, questions would you guys like uh, answered? You know, like let's let's basically kickstart a conversation on Kotor remake. Maybe you know, uh, theorize, uh, hypothesize on what could be going on. Until next time, guys. May the force be with you, and take care.